This is Big Mac Von Cheeseburg. Big Mac is an obese, illiterate, drug addict, but with a generational dancing talent. In this video, I'm going to be playing with apocalypse settings and spawning in the zombie-infested city of Louisville, and we are going to see how long I can survive as Big Mac Von Cheeseburg. Big Mac spawned in a random house in Louisville, and he immediately went to empty the cabinets of food. And before you judge him, you should know that he's only doing this because he needs plenty of food since he has the hearty appetite trait. He also has the obese trait, which explains why he looks so crunchy thick. After fully looting the starter house, Big Mac started making his way to the next house. Surprisingly, he was smart enough to stay low, especially since he didn't have any weapons yet, and attracting zombies at this point would turn him into a full-course meal. Jesus f***ing Christ, Big Mac, you stupid fat f***. The bright side of that house alarm is that at least we know where all the zombies are going to be. Upon entering the next house, Big Mac finally encountered his first victim, Unfortunately for zombies, each of Big Mac's stomps feels like getting hit by a freight train because of how much he weighs. His first stomp breaks every bone in your body. And the second stomp puts you out of your misery. If you get lucky, he might get you with the first stomp, but that's only if he decides to be merciful. Although the alarm in the other house finally stopped, it sounds like there are still zombies that are going to pass through this house soon. So Big Mac needs to find a weapon fast. Wait, he's just cooking soup. There's a zombie beside him and he's cooking soup. Luckily, despite his tomfoolery, Big Mac found his one true weapon in one of the drawers, a frying pan. When I was choosing his traits, I made sure to pick the ones that increased his short blunt level. This is because Big Mac only wields frying pans as his melee weapon. Similar to Negan and his baseball bat from The Walking Dead, Big Mac has a deep connection with frying pans. This is because they provide him with delicious food. And as you can probably tell, Big Mac has quite an intimate relationship with food. As Big Mac continued to loot the rest of the house, another victim broke in through the window. Unfortunately for her, Big Mac was feeling very diabolical today, so he sat on her. The weight of a thousand suns was pressing down on her body. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. And while Big Mac was torturing this poor soul, another victim was knocking outside the window so he decided to put the first victim out of her misery and then let the other one in. He sat on her too. How are you? Please help me. After Big Mac had his fun with the two victims, his bloodlust was not yet satiated. So he decided to move on to the next house and was faced with fighting seven victims all at once. These victims thought that they were finally going to have their grand buffet. But little did they know, the person they were facing was no ordinary man. This sexy beast made light work of the zombies, because his short blunt is at level 7 due to multiple traits, making him extra powerful with the frying pan. Then Big Mac continued to loot other houses, leaving nothing but death in his wake. Big Mac with a frying pan is absolutely unstoppable. He can probably take 10 zombies at once, if he is at full strength. When walking down the road, he even toyed with four victims, trying to stack them up on each other, so that he could sit on them at the same time. Unfortunately, he could only sit on three at once, but he made sure to sit on the other one by himself, so he doesn't feel left out. After that, Big Mac passed by a house 
with a victim in a prisoner outfit wearing a duffel bag, and he also had an accomplice inside. After disposing of them, he went inside to loot the house and found a gun in one of the drawers. But more importantly, he also found painkillers that he could use to treat three of the multiple conditions that he suffers from. After finding the frying pan, Big Mac has realized his true power and has gotten complacent. A prisoner victim came out of nowhere and Big Mac used the gun to execute him, not even worrying about the zombies that it could attract because he believes he is capable enough to deal with them. His overconfidence persisted as he went over to the next house and when he opened the window, he sounded yet another alarm. However, unlike when he triggered the first house alarm, he is no longer the scared, fat boy that he used to be. Don't get me wrong, he is still fat as f but he isn't scared anymore. And because he didn't feel any fear, the sound of the alarm gave him a sudden rush of artistic emotions that made his body start moving on its own, and he just let his soul flow freely through him in the form of dance. Unfortunately, Big Mac is a dumb f and he was abruptly awoken to reality when a zombie came from behind. And as he looked around him, he realized that he was f***ing retarded and he shouldn't have been so stupid. There were dozens and dozens of zombies headed his way, so he started to make a run for it. He jogged for only a few meters and he's already exhausted. How is this fat f still alive? There were too many zombies on his tail, so he tried to lose them by walking around houses to lose the zombies' line of sight. But there were always multiple other zombies around every corner that would chase him as well. There were way too many zombies for Big Mac to fight right now, and they were all on his ass. So instead of trying to hide in one of the houses, Big Mac had the brilliant idea to simply jump a tall fence and lose all of the zombies chasing him instantly. He knows this is going to be a risk since he doesn't know what is on the other side. But again, Big Mac, in his overconfidence, is willing to gamble on that risk because despite the predicament he was in earlier, he still believes the universe is on his side. So despite his better instincts telling him this is a bad idea, Big Mac found the spot that he thinks is safest to jump to and he climbed over. Well, at least now we know Big Mac also has an extra chromosome. Good job though, Big Mac. That was quite a brilliant move. You are not only scratched, bitten and bleeding, but your entire body is also in pain, probably from one of the multiple conditions that you are suffering from. And not only that, you also managed to attract a new herd of zombies. So jumping over that fence was quite pointless. Big Mac then started roaming around the neighborhood, again trying to lose the zombies chasing him. But just like earlier, there were too many zombies around every corner, and his condition has gotten so much worse since then. Because he hasn't smoked yet, his anxiety has worsened, and he is suffering from extreme pain. He also started getting tired since it was late, and sad since he had the depressive trait. With no other options, he decided to make his way back to where he came from, hoping that his luck would be better on the other side of the fence. It was not. Some of the zombies chasing him earlier were right there where he left off, so he tried losing them again by walking around houses, again. And by some divine miracle, this time, Big Mac managed to find some breathing room and safely went inside a house. Although there were some zombies inside, he was able to push past his limit, and he barely managed to eliminate them. After he found some time to rest, the first thing he did was drink his pot of soup, and he obliterated the zombie that dared to disturb his meal. 
I guess no matter how hurt, tired or weak Big Mac is, he will always have enough strength to protect what he loves. Big Mac settled in the bedroom to take care of his wounds and tend to his moodles. What an absolutely disastrous day. Big Mac's stupid decisions really took a toll on him. He started the playthrough with great health and great loot, and now he is suffering from seven million different afflictions. Since he has been bitten, his time is now limited, and the plan from this point is to try to heal all the moodles that we can take care of, to make his final days on Earth as peaceful as possible. Despite every part of his body being in pain, Big Mac finally had some time to rest. So he took some painkillers and went to sleep. When Big Mac woke up, there were subscribers banging on the door wanting to touch Big Mac's penis. Like and subscribe if you want to touch his willy too. The zombies outside were probably attracted to the noise because Big Mac snores like a dump truck. But since he was still in poor shape, he was about to escape through the window. But then he decided that he wasn't no p***y bitch. He changed his mind and went out to obliterate the zombies that dared to disturb his sleep. But then he got scared, so he ran out the window. For some reason, Big Mac is still exhausted despite having just slept. So he sat on the ground outside to try and catch his breath. Time was fast forwarded in order to regenerate his stamina faster, but Big Mac wasn't able to stand up quickly enough when a zombie showed up. Sadly, he got bitten once again, so it seems like luck still isn't on his side. Unlike that zombie who just had a full course meal from a single bite. For the rest of the day, Big Mac looted houses throughout the neighborhood, searching for anything to help ease his suffering. He ate food, changed his bandages, and even collected some books to cure his sadness. Unfortunately, he forgot he was illiterate. So he tried watching TV to mend his depression instead, but that didn't work. So, he just moved on. But then, he ran into another house with an alarm. But this time, even though it's a little too late, he learned from his mistakes and made the smart decision by running away instantly. He no longer felt any artistic emotions this time around. After that, he stumbled upon a van and found some bourbon in the back, which he started drinking instantly. And since he was getting tired again, he found a safe bedroom in the next house and rested for the night. At least, he thought it was safe until some victims decided to break down the door and tried to molest him. He barely managed to dispatch them, but eventually he did, and he was finally able to rest his fat ass on the bed. This wasn't necessarily a good day, but it wasn't horrible either, and hopefully by tomorrow we'll find some cigarettes to cure our anxiety. Big Mac woke up feeling much worse than last night. His conditions have deteriorated even more now, but he still had a mission. He had to clear his moodles, so he decided to venture outside of the neighborhood today and made his way to a nearby office building where there are most likely cigarettes inside the office desks. And he was right. After 700 years, Big Mac finally found some cigarettes. After his smoke, he proceeded to loot the pantry of the office, where he found cakes and pies, which were able to cure his sadness. And just like that, after all the trouble, we have finally gotten rid of most of Big Mac's moodles. And the only ones left is the exhaustion moodle, which I think is bugged, and the sickness moodles, that indicate you're infected. Since there is nothing we can do about those moodles, his mission was finally complete. So, Big Mac made his way back to his neighborhood, where he decided it was going to be his final resting place. 
he eliminated a few zombies for the last time, and then sat down to contemplate his life. Big Mac lived quite a glorious life. His dancing talent is generational, and his sexy physique always attracted the ladies. But like all good things, Big Mac's life must disappointingly come to an end. His bad moodles started to pile up again, which was a sign that it is time for him to rest. He had one last smoke, one last meal, and one last drink. He put most of his essential items on the floor so that whoever may come across it might have use for it, and it will also act as his tombstone. His key ring will be left as a sign that Big Mac was here and that Big Mac is no more. Once he was ready to go, he called over a group of zombies and let his soul flow freely through his body once again. This is Big Mac's final moment, and he is going to pass away doing what he loves. What the f just happened? How the f is Big Mac still alive? Before starting this playthrough, I spent about 20 minutes choosing Big Mac's traits, attempting to balance out his horrendous negative traits with some overpowered positive ones. In total, I selected 41 traits, both positive and negative, to reflect the complexity of Big Mac as a character with his large number of traits. However, because I chose so many traits, I don't remember most of what I picked, leading to my genuine surprise during this moment. I installed three trait mods for this particular world, and one of them introduced a trait called Indefatigable. If you are an alpha male, this word might sound familiar to you. My unmatched perspicacity, coupled with sheer indefatigability. Yeah, yeah, there it is, there it is. He said it, he said it. <laughs> Surprisingly, I had actually chosen this trait, which ultimately saved Big Mac's life and completely healed all of his wounds after the zombies dragged him down. But despite him being fully healed, he was still suffering from his bugged exhaustion and being ridiculously tired. So I hurriedly escaped and rested for the night. Ultimately, Big Mac's biggest obstacle in this video was the fact that there was always a horde on his ass, and he made every rookie mistake in the book to try and lose them. In order for you not to fall into the same pitfalls, you should learn the truth about hordes in Project Zomboid. And should there be another episode of this series depending on how this video performs, I will be deleting some traits such as alcoholic because it is what I believe caused the exhaustion bug, and I will also be removing indefatigable, as it seems too overpowered. In other news, we have two new Patreon supporters joining the fray, which means I will be able to eat actual meals this month. I love you guys. Big Mac made so many mistakes throughout this video, which almost cost him his life. Do you think he's going to learn from his mistakes? Or is he going to continue his idiotic ways? Like the video if you want to find out. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.